Hey, welcome back to another episode of This Is Terry Jones. Uh, I took a week off because it's been crazy for me, man. March Madness has literally been March Madness. Uh, I have a new project coming out on the 31st, so you'll definitely want to check that out. The One Eyed King. We've been doing a lot with this project. I need to give myself a week so that I can get everything adjusted and do stuff. And then that allowed you guys to catch up on the vlog and new episodes of Light Up and Lab. Today, what are we talking about? Success. 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 That's right, success. Uh, this is gonna be pretty quick. Uh, what I wanted to talk about with success is a lot of dealing with success, right? A lot of times I've noticed that people are not happy with how successful they are. Sometimes what ends up happening is we compare our success with others instead of comparing it with ourselves. Or you just feel like you're not doing enough, you're not doing something because you're comparing yourself to this person's career, that person's career. If you're a musician, you're comparing yourselves to The weekend, but you might be an indie musician that nobody knows about just yet. One of the things that I learned about entertainment is you want to make sure that you are happy with what you're doing. Always compare what you did to your last, not to someone else, right? Let's say something you put out has 4,000 streams, but the new one has 10,000. Don't compare that to anyone bigger than you. Compare it to yourself. Now you have more views and streams than you did before. I see this a lot with looks too. We're like, oh man, I don't look as good as her. I don't look as good as him, blah, blah, blah. He has abs, she has a... We don't know the full story, right? We compare ourselves too much and we don't see the director's cut of people's lives. So many people lie about success. When you're in entertainment, you see it all the time. You always got the one guy who is talking about he's doing this or he's doing that or he over exaggerates it because maybe he has a big following or whatever, but he's accomplished nothing, right? This happens a lot, but how would you know that, right? You wouldn't know that because you don't know them personally. You only know what they show you. They are only showing the theatrical cut of their lives, not the director's cut. One of the best things for success is to only compete with yourself. Don't compete with others. Yeah, I get it. You want competition, blah, blah, blah. We all want to compete with somebody. But the reality is you don't have to compete with anyone except yourself. By competing with yourself, you're eliminating any type of stressors that you would have dealing with some situation. This allows you to better yourself, better your life, and this allows you to conquer what you have to. Set goals for yourself, realistic goals, and outlandish goals as well. For me, I always like to set like the realistic goals as more short term, and then my outlandish goals for long term, right? And those outlandish goals have ended up being something great. A lot of people ask me all the time, Terry, you got friends that are famous. You know a lot of famous people. You watch these people grow. These people are getting this opportunity over you. And uh, people are always asking me, does it bother me? And I'm like, absolutely not. Dude, I'm so happy for all the people that I know personally that are making it and doing great things. They deserve it because they work so hard. We all get our day. You just have to keep pushing until you get that day. So instead of us comparing ourselves to someone else, we just have to keep grinding. I've been totally blessed with my career and my life and like my focus, I'm more happy about being a parent than anything. It's one of those things where you start realizing and learning that your life is actually dope. Because of social media, we're always comparing ourselves to someone else because it's right in our face. One of the tips I would give is log out every once in a while. Seriously, just log out and then log back in when you have to go back on. Because you don't want to get alerts and keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and then you get caught up in this whirlwind of unsuccessful hell, I call it. <laughs> the algorithm's going to mess with you. So the goal is to keep pushing and strive and be better than your last. That's all you have to do. Be better than your last. Go knock out those goals. Don't be afraid. Here's the thing. If you don't try, you'll never know. The worst that can happen is no. Look, I know all about fear. I know about being afraid of no, of rejection. But you can't beat yourself up over it or you'll never know. Think about it like this. Your one song, one resume, one joke, one dance move, one post away from all your dreams coming true. Literally, I would do a show randomly for free somewhere and it always got me an opportunity. Yeah, I'd be like, man, do I wanna do this free show? And somebody like, yeah, go do that free show and boom. You never know who's watching. So don't give up on yourself, keep pushing and stop comparing yourselves to others. You are gonna make it and that, no. 
Hope you enjoyed this episode. <sighs> Got a busy week. I know this is a little shorter than usual, but I just want you guys to keep pushing. Everything is going to work out for you, okay? Just don't give up. If you give up, you'll never know. Make sure that you click the link tree below so you, uh, if you're having mental health issues, uh, Team Terry Productions has teamed up with CBD BioCare where you can order CBD directly through the link with Team Terry Productions. Also, check out Previlli for gut health. If you're looking to get your mental health up, it starts with your gut, believe it or not. Previlli has everything that you need to help your gut health, which will also help with your mental health. I want to thank Lux Skincare for keeping me glowing at all times. <laughs> Make sure that you go order yourself some Lux Skincare. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are out. Tune in next week. Uh, light up and laugh. We have Khalil Kane from Juice and Girlfriends, which is freaking awesome. The 31st, mark your calendars. Follow me on Spotify. Add me on Apple Music. Add me on Pandora Radio, Terry Jones Radio. Uh, all the links are in the link tree below. So make sure you add it because I got a surprise for you next week. All right, y'all. Peace.